worked alongside Ukrainian intelligence agencies to censor Americans on social media. What? Congresswoman Kat Kamak, the Republican from Florida, joins me now. And Congresswoman, uh, explain exactly what was going on here. What did you find? So the Select Committee on Weaponization of the Government Against Americans released this report this week really detailing how this has happened. You have the SBU, which is an intelligence agency in Ukraine that has been infiltrated, is rife with double agents. They have been sending spreadsheets of thousands, thousands of posts that they have asked the FBI to then direct social media companies to take down. Now, it's interesting because the FBI didn't vet these posts as we see that there's some that are pro-Russia, some that are anti-Russia. But not only that, the FBI turned around, uh, suggested opening up a 24-7 channel with Meta and Google and other social media companies so that they could ensure that the posts that Ukraine wanted taken down were taken down. And these are American citizens who have had their constitutional rights violated in the worst of ways. So you're saying not only is the, uh, you know, the FBI doing this, uh, but the big tech companies uh, are also culpable. Absolutely. I mean, when you think about it, the FBI has a counterintelligence division that is designed specifically to fight foreign influence, not facilitate it. And here we have a clear-cut case of a foreign government influencing speech and infringing on the constitutionally protected rights of everyday Americans, journalists, uh, children's book authors. Heck, they even took down posts from the State Department. That, coupled with the fact that we know that the industrial complex of censorship is real, that the social media companies do the bidding of the Biden administration by taking down posts that they don't like that don't fit the political narrative, that is terrifying. Because if you have the pillar yeah. of our republic crumbling and the press isn't asking questions and your speech is continually being censored, we are on a downward trajectory. This report demonstrates that, proves that the weaponization of government against American citizens is real. But to add insult to injury, the foreign government of Ukraine is actually pushing for this. It's crazy. I've, I'm almost out of time, Congresswoman. Yeah. But now that we know this, what happens next? So I think there's more to uncover. You know, we have had some incredible uh, documents that have been produced. More uh, depositions and transcribed interviews are going to continue. We are going to put all the pieces of the puzzle together and then have a legislative fix to make sure that this never happens again. And ultimately, we'd like to see referrals right. to the DOJ where people will be held accountable. We have to reestablish trust if we are going to huh. move forward. And until there's consequences, there's going to be a lot of mistrust. That is right. Congresswoman Kat Kamak of Florida, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks so much. Have a good one.